we got to talk about hope hiding the pants tail. <laughs> we got to talk about hope, y'all. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review with Life with Chesty for the Bone Beautiful June 14, 2024. Okay, so Hope and Finn. Hope and Finn. Now, y'all know they had already showed this preview. Why they keep doing it? Why did they, at least they didn't drag it and have us wait thinking that something happened between Hope and Finn for real like they did on last week's episode. Because I was about to say, I was like, why would you keep ending the storyline or keep ending the uh, week off with this fantasy and all this other stuff? But yeah, they didn't actually do anything. She just fantasizing again. I was like, I know Finn ain't, I know he ain't. He can't, they showed that he came back for his phone. Look, I done skipped so far ahead. Okay, where we at? Where we at? Um, Hope was over here giving Finn googly eyes. And he just standing around and stuff still, still. I said, okay, you done checked on her. She good. You could go. You could go. Then, let me see if I wrote it down. Because Hope brought up Steffi being upset about him being there or whatever. He didn't even hear, he didn't even feel like it was a big deal because he was like, what did he say? He made some comment that suggested that he's still not taking Steffi at her word. And I hate, I feel like Hope pulled a Sheila. Y'all know a Sheila and Deacon. Because remember how they was like, okay, we not trying to interfere in your marriage or cause problems between you and Steffi. But don't you want to attend the wedding? It would mean the world to your mother. It would mean the world to me, son. And all this other extra stuff. So Hope over here brought up Steffi. And she might be upset about him being there or whatever. But not enough for her to, she keep reaching out. She going to keep reaching out. She going to keep reaching out. Um, I had read the spoilers, and by the spoilers, I was like, okay, is something going to happen for real? Because they said that Sheila learns a, a, a secret, a secret or whatever. I don't know if she's going to learn that Hope has feelings for for um Finn or what. And on Friday's episode, they said something about, basically, she proves that she's not somebody to mess with. They ain't said it, but, you know, go look at the spoilers. <laughs> but they ended up showing Hope tell Finn when he came back for his phone that she can't think, she, she can't stop thinking about him or whatever, dreaming about him, wanting him, and all this, and she was like, tell me, tell me you feel the same, or all that, and they started kissing, they started kissing, and then she ripped the shirt, or whatever, I said, she hiding the pants, first she was hiding the pants for Thomas, now she hiding the pants for Finn, <laughs> I said, get it together, girl, all of that, you know what's crazy, well, it depends on where the writers take this storyline with Hope, and I was about to say, what's crazy is that, if they still stick to how they've been sticking for decades, she's still gonna be with Liam, She's still going to be with Liam, just like Steffi's still going to be with Liam. And they're going to be going back and forth like they've been doing for ages. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe they'll take it in a new direction. But, yeah, um, she ended up, she was sleeping on the couch or whatever. She woke up, and it wasn't what she thought. So I wonder, had he actually left, or was he still standing up there, or was that a part of the fantasy? I don't know. We might as well start with Steffi and Brooke, but we got to get to Katie, because a spoiler said that her and Poppy supposed to, things supposed to intensify between them or whatever. And I said, look, Poppy, Poppy, I don't know now. Lee might have been right. I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think she's just marking her territory or just uh, protecting what she got going on with Bill? Or do y'all think it's more to the story? I was like, if Lee came with the test, though, how could she be lying? I don't know. Maybe she just out to get something. I don't know. The way she acting, I don't know. I'm just waiting to see if Lee was right. But Steffi and Brooke. So, um, Steffi, basically, she tells Brooke that she's concerned about, um, She's concerned about her daughter, about Hope and all this stuff because Hope been spending a lot of time with Finn and not just that, but she seems to think that Sheila has changed. She's like, what's wrong with her? The girl's crazy. She's lost it. She's losing it. But she ain't said that, but you know, basically. <laughs> basically, she's losing it to think Sheila has changed. I said, Sheila, unfortunately, she is correct because eventually Sheila's definitely going to show them. And I'm disappointed that they didn't bring up how uh, Deacon actually helped get her out of jail or it was something else what else it's been so many storylines but the whole time Steffi's talking Brooke just thinking about what Hope said and what she didn't say and what she believed or whatever and I was like I thought she was gonna say son I said you gonna get your daughter up nope she did not she did not then Brooke gonna sit up here and act like she got freaking amnesia or something she don't know what Steffi what are you talking what are you implying all this other stuff like Steffi just delusional I hate for somebody to act like you delusional oh you losing it you're crazy or whatever then at the end of the day, <laughs> the day got to end now. <laughs> At the end of the day, you find out that they actually were doing everything you thought they was doing or whatever. But I don't know. Then Steffi was like, uh, no, Brooke has said something about it. So you saying me and Hope can't be friends with Finn or whatever? She said, you can't. I said, I said, you can't either. You can't either. Like mother, like daughter. Remember, you've been saying it this whole time. But at the same time, Steffi going to have to learn as well. You can't detail who this man hang out with because obviously he ain't going to listen. Because he could have called Steffi or texted her or something and said, you know, um, Hope, call me. 
And she said, Beth was sick, so I'm on my way over there. She couldn't get a doctor appointment, something like that. Just letting, I feel like you should never get nobody no chance to one of your significant other or anything like that. Or your friends or family members or whatever. But yeah, he don't he don't be thinking. He just be standing. Y'all know I keep talking about that because I'm realizing that more and more. I know people been talking about that. About how he don't be thinking. He don't. And before we start talking about Poppy now, well, we might as well get that out of the way because some of the spoilers contain uh stuff about Poppy and Katie. Okay, Poppy, Bill, Katie. So Katie don't came in these folks' house again. Now Poppy don't got you straight before. She don't got you straight before. And she keeps saying, Oh, it doesn't bother. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with me and yada yada yada. Like I said. Because they um, tend to age soap children, look, one minute they five, next minute they 50. No, <laughs> one minute they five, next minute they 15. I know doggone well Will should be old enough to handle this on his own without Katie and all that. I know sometimes, you know, it don't matter what age, you're going to always need your parents, yada, yada, yada. But they just sitting, they know what they're doing. But she don't walk up in these folks' house, and she's she trying to get to the bottom of why Poppy didn't tell Bill he could have a daughter or whatever. But the look on Poppy's face, I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think about her? Y'all think she up to something? Like, I don't know if she could have did nothing to the test considering Lee brought it. But I don't know. She kind of giving off them vibes like, this is my place. I got this. She keeps talking about how amazing it is and everything. And she keep, like Katie said, throwing around the L word or whatever. And I feel like Bill more so feel this way about her because she gave him a daughter versus it's because of her. And that's a huge difference. Y'all know in the Tyler Perry reviews, if you listen and all my other reviews, I always talk about this. It's going to eventually come to an end if that's the only thing. Oh, you gave me a daughter, so I'm so excited and I'm so grateful or whatever. I think she had said she loved him the other day. And I was waiting for him to say it back, and he did not. He keeps saying how appreciative he is of her giving him a daughter and all this other stuff. And Katie brings up how Bill has a whole new family or whatever. I love, I will say, I love that Bill um, wrapped his arm around Poppy and all that. Because, no, you don't... <laughs> just because y'all got a child don't mean nothing don't mean nothing you don't come in here trying to run nothing <laughs> but yeah basically katie was trying to find out why poppy didn't say anything bill was speaking for her and stuff and she's still trying to question her but they said things supposed to get worse on next week's episodes um they supposed to uh get into it what else did they say about them i think they supposed. oh katie's supposed to confide in bill about how she feel conflicted about the news or whatever and i said carter come get your woman i said carter come get your woman <laughs> Carter, you never stood a chance. She ain't tell you about that dog and kiss they shared. What else did they say? I know they said Sheila um Sheila learns a secret. She tests Deacon. I don't know if she's gonna share that secret or what. I think Sheila and Steffi supposed to get into it. Somebody's supposed to get into it. I think they said Steffi and Brooke makes a decision that Steffi doesn't agree with. Ridge makes a uh makes an announcement or whatever. I think he's going to say that Brooke is joining them or whatever. Steffi's going to have a fit. She said, I'm sick of you, Logans. I'm sick of y'all. Let me see. I think I basically covered everything. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is how a great rest of the day, a great weekend, and be safe.